la tublaun fi amwalikum wa anfusikum that you're going to be tested in your wealth and in your wa la nabluwannakum hatta na'lam al mujahidin minkum wa sabirin wa nabluw akhbarakum when allah says we we will test you till we know allah already knows and his afore knowledge does not negate our free will but liyudhirukum like he will expose you to yourselves he will expose you to yourself so you will know whether you were patient or not and patience is very hard pa patience is not it's 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 in it's, it's the really the after toba it's the first station like you make toba and then the first station is sabr it's the hardest people are not we're not patient as a species and and we're made from from ajala you know we're made from haste it's it's just instilled in us in our being and and we we love speed and that's why the modern world is such a dangerous place for us because it's it's addictive as a species we like things uh, quickly we don't like to wait for things it's it's our nature and so when you're in a civilization where speed becomes the dominant mode of existence because those of some of you don't remember when we used typewriters and then if you made a mistake you had to get out that little bottle and you had to like <laughs> put the white paint on it and then roll it back in and type out that's what you had to do is is much more labor intensive now people are frustrated with the internet because it's not instantaneous they have to watch that thing go around and around and they're getting upset like what's wrong with this thing it's amazing it's instantaneous and in the peoples of the past if you think i mean i was going from rabat to casablanca and now they cut the speed time because they have this new highway and he said oh on the way to fez now they've cut off an hour so you can get there faster and and i was thinking 100 years ago or even 50 years ago a lot of people they had to ride on a horse or a camel and that would have taken a day or two and now you make it in an hour that would cause you to travel less and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as safaru qata'atun min adab that that traveling is really uh, a, a a a hardship that's a type of of chastisement because it's so difficult but but now we travel the book of daniel it says towards the end of time people will go to and fro in great speed and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam talked about the dajjal going between the clouds and the earth and there's a lot of indications there's a very interesting hadith that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said yati ala an-nas zaman yustahallu khamsatun bi khamsa there's a time coming when five things will be made halal with the excuse of five other things so five things will be deemed permissible with the excuse of five other things and the first one he said was khamar he said yastahillun al khamra wa yusammunahu bi ismin laysa lahu they'll, they'll call it some other name he said so they'll they'll consider alcohol halal but they'll call it some other name and then he said that was suhta bil hadiya and bribery by calling it a gift and then he said wal qatra bil rahba and and murder by calling it terror very interesting hadith from ibn abbas was zina bil nikah illicit sexual relations by calling it marriage very interesting and then the last one was riba bil bai' usury by calling it commerce so the nature of the world is that you're going to be in tribulation and what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says is to remember ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu udhkuru ni'mati alaykum remember my blessings when ta'udu ni'matullahi la tahsuha if you begin to reflect on the blessings of allah you can't enumerate them and so when you reflect on the blessings instead of the tribulations then it puts you in a state of gratitude and this is why patience is really a means to gratitude because the highest maqam is is gratitude 
uh, in tribulation. And that was the maqam of the greats. And that's the maqam of the Prophet He awadam akun abdan shakura. Shouldn't I be a permanently grateful, always grateful? Shakur means they're always grateful. وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِيَ shakur. Few of my servants are always grateful. And Iblis, what does he say? He says, you'll find most of them aren't grateful. So Iblis knows that the way to get people away from God is to make them ingrates. And what does kufr really mean? It means ingratitude. And so when you're always complaining, then you're, just, you're in a state of ingratitude and Iblis is happy and your Lord is, is not honored. Because everything that he's giving you is a gift. The illness that he gives us is a gift. If we didn't bring it on ourselves, I mean, some illnesses, one of, the, one of the sad things about a lot of people is, you know, they eat horribly, and like people that eat sugar all the time, and then they get diabetes, and they say, oh, Allah's abtalani bi sukkar. Right? Allah has tried me with sukkar. No, you gave yourself diabetes because you didn't watch your diet. Or you get really fat and overweight and you get type 2 diabetes. You shouldn't have been eating so much. Or you're always eating uh, all these trans fats and then the doctor tells you that you have, your arteries are all blocked up. And then you say, Abtalani Allah, why are you blaming that on God? But if you do everything right and then you get a, 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 an illness, then that's an ibtida from Allah. Or you, you have parents that had genetic dispositions and you inherited those. That's a tribulation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best thing to do is be patient or see it as the gift that it is because everything that Allah gives us, there's, the gift is there, it's, it's hidden. Um, and, and the more grateful we become, the easier it is to recognize those gifts. And the Prophet ﷺ said, "Inna al-faraj ma'al karb," that the, the the faraj comes with the difficulty, and that's why Sahaba preferred to be in tribulation because they knew that the ease was coming. But when they were in ease, they knew the tribulation was coming because that's the nature of the world. It's a, you know, I was on this plane talking to this uh, Moroccan, and and we were just talking about what's happening in the world, and she, she said, ad-dunya ajala, she's a young Moroccan, she said, the dunya is a wheel. And I said, al-sabti al-marma, you hit the bullseye. Because that's exactly what it is. It's the wheel of fortune. And one day you're up, and the next day you're down. And the secret is to get into that center, and that's, that's where the Prophet ﷺ was. He was in the hub of the wheel. He did not get affected by the vicissitudes of time, what they call suruf al dahar He was in that hub. And, and, and so the tribulations, when they come, you have to see them for what they are. Uh, Al-Faqatu, uh, Ibn Atayla says, Al-Faqatu busat al-mawahib. Faqa is intense need. So whenever you're in intense need, he said, this, these are the carpets of divine gifts. You know, they're, they're the spread of defined gifts. Like they're spread out for you. All these intense times of need are gifts from Allah for, for you. And so that's, that's the, the thing is to see the gift because it's hidden very often. You have to, it's, it's, it comes wrapped in tribulation. <laughs> so you have to unwrap it and see what the gift is. It's not the tribulation. The tribulation is just the box the gift comes in. And then he says, وَظَلَامُ اللَّيْلِ لَهُ سُرُجُونَ حَتَّى يَغْشَاهُ أَبُوْ سُرُجِي He said the, the, the dark night has those lights, the suruj are lights, the stars. So the dark night has those lights, they have those, you can see that it's not all dark, it's not all doom and gloom. If it was people would commit suicide in large numbers. But people always have that hope. حَتَّى يَغْشَاهُ أَبُوْ سُرَجِ Until the sun comes out. The sun is called Abu Suraj. It's the, the possessor of all the lights. Because when the sun comes out, all those other lights disappear. And so the, the calamity is there, 
but the calamity will come to an end.